Francesca is here in Israel, which is so, so, so exciting. She's actually here with Ofra. Yeah. Um, because Ofra Cosmetics, together with Francesca, created... A little collaboration. A, little co a, a, a major collaboration. <laughs> Bronzer and highlighted blush. And an eyeshadow palette that, from what I understand, is very special. Not like any other eyeshadow palette. It's fun. It's <laughs> playful. It is playful. I'm excited. Francesca is going to do my makeup today. I'm really excited because, like, her hands have touched. Like, I looked on your website. I uh, saw the list. That's a serious list. It's a big list, yeah. <laughs> Let's have fun. We are going to have fun, especially with these extensions. I'm ready to have fun. So we keep the foundation pretty light and natural, right? I like the foundation to be natural. I like to see the skin, like, showing through unless there is major problem of course i try to take care of my major problems <laughs> when your skin is really good i mean it's uh, so much better now than it used to be i had really bad acne oh really mm -hmm. and now i just have you know like the pigmentation and stuff from the, the children Oh, from the pregnancy, mm -hmm. but it's not that bad. I don't, I don't even see it. I'm working on it, you know, Dermalogica. And <laughs> oh, wow! I go get a facial like every three weeks. Oh, wow! I'm like crazy. How do you find the time with three children? I go very late at night. Or they stay open late. I go to, I go to her, to her house, okay. and I'm like, do my, fix me. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> You have a relationship with her. Of course. Her. I'm sure you have that kind of relationship, you know, with your My clients. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. Right? Like if they call you in the middle of the night, you come? I normally do. It <laughs> depends who, but... <laughs> For Beyonce, you would come, right? Absolutely. Anytime. <laughs> Any time of the day. <laughs> so how did you get into doing makeup? I actually fell into the profession without even knowing that it existed. I used to wear a lot, a lot of makeup. I met this guy that was a famous makeup artist back then in Milan. And he was opening a makeup school. And I took it. And then one day after I was done, he asked me if I could go and do a job that he unfortunately couldn't do. And I went and I didn't like it. I told him I don't like it. I don't want to do that. But then another time, it was really an emergency. He was in trouble if he didn't send somebody. So he asked me again. And I went. And this time was Italian Vogue. Oh. And I discovered a whole different view of being a makeup artist, mm -hmm. the creativity, the excitement, working all night with this major photographer. So there I decided that, yeah, I could do that. I could definitely be a makeup artist. How old were you when that happened? I was about 28. I saw that you worked with Cindy Crawford a lot, right? Yeah, of course. And she's like the mega, mega model of all time. She is, super model. Yes, Francesca has the craziest list of clients, like from Beyonce, she's worked with Madonna, She's. I saw that you worked with Alanis Morissette. Oh, yeah. She's, she's Canadian so, like me. That's right. She's so nice. I love Alanis. Oh, she is so nice <laughs> and talented. Yeah. I love her music, yeah. too. Yeah. So, like, out of all of the, you know, amazing clients that you've worked with, are there any kind of moments or makeup looks that really stand out that you really remember and really love? I love everything I've done with Beyonce. You know, every video and I'm sure. But I did have an amazing time when we shot Dream Girl, the movie. And, and that's probably my most memorable. Because you were really with her, you know, kind of oh, yeah. every day, all the time. It was three months. Yeah. yeah. It was three months. So I used to, a few years ago, to like meet her up in different country where she was filming maybe something extra. And in that case, I'd be doing the, the concert too. Okay. It's very exciting. Yes. But kind of stressful too. Quick changes that seconds to change the clothes and fix the makeup. And right. The hair. And the makeup always just looks just so perfect. Like, and she's dancing and she's sweating. And she, and I know. I know. It's amazing. Yeah, she's a super woman. She really is. Huh? She really is. <laughs> you don't become Beyonce for, for nothing. <laughs> I noticed that you like to apply your concealer with the brush, like you don't put the concealer right on my no. face. No, because I don't like having too much product. I'd rather build it up mm -hmm. slowly than go right away with a lot and then having mm -hmm. to remove it. Mm -hmm. So if it's not needed, like you don't really need that much, your skin is beautiful, Thank you. you don't have 
circle under the eyes. So I'm using this almost just to illuminate the eyes, but. So Francesca has a book with all of these like amazing looks that she's done on the same model and in every image the model looks just completely different mm -hmm. and you're so creative like have you always been artistic? Yes, I love to draw and I love art. My mom used to make dolls so you know I grew up seeing her doing making from porcelain, from paper mache, wow. doing the makeup, creating the hair so uh, my brother is a painter so Yes, it's yeah. in your blood. It's in my blood, yes. I don't like to use a lot of powder, but just under the eyes. Now with social media and the whole trend of, you know, makeup has become so popular among everyone, even from really mm -hmm. young ages, and, and makeup has gotten, I think, heavier in terms of, you know, lately in the past few years. Yes, 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 absolutely. What do you think about, like, all these crazy trends? I think it's trends? too heavy. I, I, I personally think it's too heavy. Especially then when you... Because one thing is on TV and picture, but then when you actually see this young girl mm -hmm. on the street wearing so much makeup, yes, I, I, I don't particularly agree with it. For me, the limit of when I know it's too much makeup is when I hug someone and my makeup rubs off on uh, them. <laughs> That's like, okay, I have too much on my face. I've caked yeah, it on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. That is the lightest of the bronzer. Okay. It's a kind of yellow base. The difference is this is lighter and golden base and this is darker and has a little more red. So if you have darker skin, obviously this or this for winter and this for summer. Very lightly. And you prefer to do the, the base and then to do the eyes? And then, yes. So I'm doing it very soft. I'm not a big fan of heavy contouring. And I don't think you need it either because you're such a beautiful high cheekbone. Thank you. No, you do. <laughs> <laughs> These are very good to also mix them. Okay. Because this being orange and this being pink. Yeah. When you mix it, then it becomes peach. Yeah, I love mixing always. And, so, yeah. and it's a highlighter with the, with the blush. It's beautiful, like it has like a kind of golden sheen yeah. to it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you add color, but you also add highlighter. So this, this collaboration actually, like you were in the lab, like these are your oh, yeah. colors. Oh yeah, the best time, I love being in the lab. You, well, you're doing your own lab, yeah, right? Yeah. Don't you love it? It's, I could live in the lab. Me too, me too. They had to kick me out. <laughs> yeah, I know. They I know. did. The good thing about about my lab, I guess for my husband, is that it's in Milan, so I can't be there all the oh, time. Oh, <laughs> it's too far. <laughs> I like to brush it a little bit all over the eyes. I do that too. You do it too? Yeah. Yay! <laughs> it was one of my, I think, kind of first really good makeup tips I think that I gave on my channel is I always said, like, if you feel like your eyeshadow is just like, don't, don't really, really like you're not so happy with the look, right. take a little bit of your blush and put it in your crease and boom, it looks That's good. That's it. You're right. <laughs> no, you're right. Even for like a very natural look, mm -hmm. you know. There's something about it, like it just connects with the it, face. Exactly. <laughs> I got a point from Francesca. <laughs> so because of your beautiful blue eye, which are very beautiful, I'm going to use the turquoise. Okay. I'm going to keep it kind of soft and natural just because I know that they can be intimidating, this color, and that's what I want to show, that they can be used in a very soft and natural way. I'm excited because I always say that blues are the colors that I use the, the least. Really? Because, yeah, because I they're, they're intimidating. Really? Yeah, if you do like a little bit too much, it can go wrong very quickly. So. But you can remove it. I know, of course. Fun. Of course. Do you leave the house without makeup on? I never wear makeup. Really? No, I put makeup on because I'm gonna be in front of the camera. Otherwise wow. I don't wear any makeup. <laughs> wow. So when you come to do makeup for like red carpet, for mm -hmm. you know Beyonce or I saw yeah. you do share a lot, right? Oh yeah. 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 She's fantastic. Do you come with like the look in your mind already, or do you just kind of sit and see what you feel like that day? Usually, yes. Um, Unless it's something that has to be prepared ahead of Some clients are different than others. Okay. Some are very organized and they like to be prepared and know everything. 
someone like the spare the minute they can change the dress is that walking out like oh no i don't like this and, and change it so you have to be prepared and just switch it over to something else you can use it in such a transparent way mm -hmm. so it can be like intense even more intense when you you know or it can just be a wash of color which for spring and for you know mm -hmm. life Yes, it's, it's not too much. I'm going to use a little bit of black. I'm really using it only very close to the lashes. So very lightly and actually, you know, going almost in between the lashes. Who was the first celebrity that you did? Uh, Madonna. Oh my God. <laughs> How is that the first? <laughs> uh, I didn't even speak English, so... I didn't know who she was. What? Oh, no, no, because it was at the beginning of her career, too. She just, I don't know if Like a Virgin was already out. Yeah, it must have been just out, and I just moved to America, so I did. I have no idea. I had no idea who she was. Wow! So my agent told me, work with this, whatever she could tell me, because I didn't speak English. But she kind of explained that she was an up-and-coming artist. Yeah, up-and-coming. <laughs> Madonna, I, know. Yeah. I know and she was great we had some amazing time together she's so wonderful wow that's like every makeup artist's dream right like oh yeah my first client was Madonna I know I have to say I've been very lucky I don't plan I don't you know set goals like I'm gonna move to America and be a Hollywood makeup artist I moved there because I fell in love with Los Angeles and the lifestyle. Really? It was not a business. Really? Yes. So it's very different to like today's makeup artists. Yes. You know, that have that dream. Oh, yeah, I don't know, no, completely different. So see, it's like, it just makes the lashes full. Yeah. Kind of it. had the effect of a liner without being a liner. I love it. Yeah, I do that all the time. You also. do? Yeah, Great. I love it. We are sister. We really are. <laughs> I also like using my finger too for blending. What do you think? I mean, you've been in the industry for so long. You've been working with beauty for so long. What do you think is like the biggest breakthrough in terms of technology? The whole industry is completely changed from when I started. Now there is so many different products, long wear, long lasting. I, I mean, it's incredible. The life of not only Makeup artists, obviously women too. Mm -hmm. It's so much easy now. Oh, you find it easier today? Oh my God, yes. Besides having like infinite choice, because look how many liquid lipstick are in the market. Right. You know, but the, the quality. When I started, the eyeshadow was matte and it was chalky. To actually do a good makeup with blended and no spotty, you really needed to master yeah. that technique. Today, you know, eyeshadow are so beautiful and they just yeah. go on and slide on. And I'm gonna add, just for fun, I like fun, <laughs> a little bit of this, yay, on the corner. Very light, I'm not, overdoing it. See, so you have a sense of color mm -hmm. without feeling like the color is wearing you. Yeah, I never do my makeup like this. This is so cool. Have you ever done somebody's makeup for a photo shoot or, well, I guess not photo shoot, but more like red carpet or an event and then you saw a picture after and you're like, oh my God, what did I do? I don't like that at all. Oh God. <laughs> well, thank God, not that, but not being completely happy, it happens because it depends on the light. You know, you can do the best makeup and then they end up in bright sun, overhead that creates shadow and you could have done the best job and it's, it doesn't look right. it doesn't look the way you did it yeah. so have you ever had to deal with like negative comments or anything like that uh, i guess no not before really. social media it just wasn't exactly there yeah. was no such a thing that's right do you find it intimidating to have to kind of compete like in a social media world i'm not good in fact you know i don't have that many followers because I mean, compared to... You know, yeah, influencers, Influencers, yeah. 
Yeah, of course it's intimidating. But do, but I guess like in your industry and in, in Hollywood, like your name kind of goes without saying. Yes, right? no, it doesn't matter. Do you like it? Of course I like it. So it's soft. It's colorful it is. and playful, but it's soft. It kind of changed the way I I think about color, I guess, a little bit. Because when I do color or when I see a palette like this, my instinct is always to go kind of heavy-handed and we have to do a super no. colorful and bright look, but... No, just because the color are there doesn't mean you have to put all of them at the same time. Right. You can <laughs> choose one <laughs> and do it very lightly. Yeah. <laughs> Highlight, especially if you go out in the evening, do extra blending of the two colors. I'm going to, again, before we do mascara, just lightly. More blush. Just very, yeah, very lightly. Now, mascara is really important when you do a natural look. And you have good lashes. Oh my god, I love how you're like complimenting me about all the things that I don't like about myself. Why you don't like your lashes? Because you know how like after you give birth, like you feel like your lashes go away, like I have all the little oh, hair really? growing so in. So you had yeah. more lashes before? I did have more, oh, yeah. Wow. Because now you, you have good lashes. In your case, I'm going to focus more on the center lashes. Okay. To like open the eyes. Okay. Create like a star effect. Have you ever had an incident? I mean, I'm sure you have. <laughs> of course, <laughs> many how incidents. many How many times has it happened where like you really didn't like a celebrity because she was just so mean to you or not grateful or it, rude? It, it, it happened. It happened, I can't deny yeah. it. But you know, the, the good part of being a freelancer makeup artist you never have to see that person again if you didn't get along. So you, like. you've decided to not take on a celebrity oh, yeah. again? Yeah. I actually found that the more famous and secure they are, then the nicest they are. One of the nicest person I worked with, it was Elizabeth Taylor. Wow. I never, I never felt so at home in anybody's house, like in her house. She was so welcoming yeah. and so open and so normal. So you also created these three <laughs> yes. lips, liquid lipsticks? Yes. I also created a liquid lipstick with Ofra. Oh, you did? Yeah. So mine was called Girl Abroad and yours are called Ruby. Vermilion? What's vermilion? And it's the red. It's a red. Okay. It's an, the name for a red. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. And that shade? And this is Baroque. So this is more neutral. You don't have to go only straight from the tube and have such a heavy application. You can put some lip balm on first and then use a brush and, and just be very light and have just a hint of color. When you do like red carpet or something, would you use a pencil? Or no? With the liquid lipstick now, there is really no need to because they dry and they stay in place. But before, yes, it was a must. I would use the, the pencil all over the lips and then I would powder it and set it and maybe even do a couple of times. Mm -hmm. to The really blot, the powder. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. And then the lipstick right before they leave and and go out. So I was gonna say like all those like old school tricks that I guess people like you created right with the blot and the powder and all that kind of stuff. We don't need those tricks anymore. They're useless. Yeah. What am I gonna do? <laughs> we should write them down so we don't forget. <laughs> okay. <laughs> in case something happened in the world and there will not be any liquid lipstick. Oh my gosh. I couldn't even imagine a world without <laughs> right. liquid lipstick. Right. <laughs> oh yeah. No. Back in the day you really needed to learn the craft on makeup and be able to, you know, go through situations where there were no solution other than your creativity to try to figure out something. Right. But today it's so easy. Today oh. anybody can be a makeup artist. So easy. <laughs> yeah, no, it's true. Everybody yeah. is a makeup Everybody artist. Everybody is a makeup artist. Yeah, yeah that yeah. is true. Do you like it? I love it. I'm yeah. gonna look at it closer. Hold on just to see from close. So fresh. Oh, thank you. I think because it's perfect that's for what I like. I yeah. like the makeup to be fresh and wearable, and I don't like creating a mask unless there is a purpose yeah. you know, for a video or for something that has to be that way. But for everyday life, I think probably what my my viewers learned as well as I did is that you don't need to be intimidated by this color no. and think that you need to save it only for special occasions. You can no. totally use this for every day. It's beautiful. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> How did you know like what shades you want to put in your palette? I wanted to be like 
for an example, if I only have this palette and nothing else, because my makeup got lost or something, with this color, I can do anything. Any kind of look I'm presented. Ah, it's got your name on it yep. and everything. It's so beautiful. <laughs> so I think what we should probably do at this point is, you know, I have th these amazing products now here with me. Maybe we should share these products with one of my yes, viewers. Absolutely. And so let's do a giveaway. Yes. For one of my subscribers. Um, I will leave everything that you guys need to do in the description bar below. Let's sign the palette. Yes. Together. Yeah, you go see. first. Let's get a brand new one. Oh my god, the packaging is so beautiful. Look at this. Thank you. Sign that one first. There you go. Okay, so thank you so much, Francesca. I feel beautiful. Thank you. I feel I'm like so Beyonce. Happy. Ah! <laughs> I had the best time ever having you on my channel. I learned so much. Make sure to check out Francesca on Instagram and Ofra, and we'll have everything linked down below, and we will see you in the next time.